Now here's the thing too. Right now, my handle, my bridge handle is on my desk. Now, if I can't get the right angle of this, all I'd have to do is flip this upside down. And then what you can do with the phone, if I take this off, uh, now you're able to get better angles of what you are trying to scan. And then this is where it comes in handy if you wanna flip this thing upside down. So now you can see exactly what it's looking like. If you feel that you are done, you hit on complete scan. Now with the optimizing complete, this is where you can make a few adjustments. Now for this, let's see, let's take a look. Uh, it doesn't look too bad. There is no bottom, but we'll actually add in the bottom here in just a second. But this is where you tap over here. This is where you can orientate it a little bit. There's a few things I want to delete. So you sit on the eraser and this is where you can get rid of it. And I'm going to make it just a little bit larger. So anything that showed up in the scan that you don't want to be there, uh, you are able to delete it. For this one, I am going to have a whole filling. Also, uh, closure is on and I want this to be as a STL. So you can have this as STL, OBJ, or PLY. So all that I'm gonna do is I will place this onto my slicer and I'm going to bring his bottom down into my slicing bed just a bit and it will create a natural, perfect, straight line cutoff. Now taking a look at the color mapping, I think it did a good job. All I'd have to do is spend just a little bit more time, probably get up a little bit closer, make sure I have the light, the, the, the white LEDs turned on so I can get a better detail of what we're seeing here on the very front. So I'm going to bring him into the plate. And what that does is it will, you know, naturally make them smooth on the bottom. So now that that is looking good for me, I'm just going to hit on slice plate. So this is that test object that is inside of the portable carrying case. So all I did was I scanned it, placed this on the slicer, put it over to the 3D printer and I hit print. So this was the first one that we ever did. And again, coming from a beginner, just taking the 3D scanner and scanning it and, and just turning it on the turntable, this is the result, which I think looks really 